11 years. 11 years, I was the perfect husband, and this is how she treats me? I did everything right. I celebrated every birthday. I took her to Disneyland. I mean, did I work a lot? Yeah, yeah, I, I did, but that was all for her. And did I get close with some of my clients? Yeah, I, I did, but it, it wasn't like that. Miss Robinson was just a friend. And Kelly and Rick and Deborah, but you have to understand that in order to understand who your mark is, you have to know your client. And that's rule 15 of the Scott Bottom Method, which you would know if you ever read my book. Never cheat on me, right? Please stop talking to me. <laughs> I'm gonna go use the little boys' room. shirt what oh yeah i think i got mine at degman's the, the one on 42nd, 42nd next to the gelato, gelato place with the extra extra, extra chocolate, chocolate sunday i love that place <laughs> yeah degman's is great i mean everything there is so cheap that's where i get all my disguises from disguises rule number five of the bottom method always have a disguise so your mark doesn't recognize you oh ah, you're a cop even better my friend Private investigator. Interesting. So who are you telling tonight, Mr. Investigator? My, my client's no good cheating wife. Oh, what are you gonna, catch her in the dirty little act? Oh, I'm a catcher, all right. I'm a nailer. Oh, okay, nailer. Very interesting. Well, let me know if you do. I'm just meeting someone for dinner tonight, but I'd rather see you in action instead. Holy shit, holy, holy Mother Mary. Wow, that's a specimen if I've ever seen one. Wow, how, whew. I just gotta say, pal, you got a fucking monster down there. <laughs> Ramon, the name's Ramon. Scott, what's his name? Oh, this is Ramon Sr. cause he's the boss, but uh, you wanna pet him? Damn. Yeah. You can barely lift it. What are you feeding this thing? Oh, you know, just the usual. Love, a little bit of protein. Whoever gets to ride that monster truck is a very lucky woman. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, I better go find a good hiding spot to catch that tramp, but uh, I'll see you. Good luck, Scott. Thanks, man. There you are, you harlot. Let's see the asshole you thought could replace you. No, 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 no. Him? Why him? Oh, I'm starving. I haven't had nothing to eat all day. Well, let's order a big thick, juicy steak. That'll fill us up good. Oh yeah, that sounds good. And then maybe we can God, get some- I have been looking forward to this all week. I love this restaurant. I always feel completely satisfied whenever I finish my meal. I'm so glad you can make it tonight. Yeah, me too. All of the men I've been seeing recently have been below average. I'm so happy I'm finally with a real man. <laughs> Do you mind if I use the bathroom real quick? Sure. Just don't take too long. <laughs> <laughs> Kim? How could you? Scott, what the hell are you doing here? 
catching a slut in action. Why are you wearing that ugly ass wig? <sighs> Rule 50. Rule five of the Scott Bottom method, always have a disguise. I, I knew you never read my book. No, I didn't read your stupid book, you creep. I can't believe you're stalking me. I, I can't believe you're cheating on me. What did I do to deserve this? <sighs> Scott, you slept with my sister. Well, you're twins. And my grandma. Well, you're the one who said black don't crack, so. Whatever, I've moved on. I'm with a real man now. That, that, that is not a man. That is a mutant with a third leg. You don't think I know that? I asked him for his foot size before I said yes to the date. Kimberly, please, please, if you ever loved me, come back to me. Please don't sleep with that horse man. You know, there was a time when I did love you and you broke my heart, Scotty. Again, and again, and again. And now, I'm gonna let that sexy motherfucker turn me into a shish kebab tonight. And there's nothing you can do about it. Goodbye, Scott. Hey, you all right, Scott? Cool as a cucumber, man. Well, did you catch your mark? Yep. Red-handed. Ah, oh, that sucks. I wish I could have seen. My date's really boring, but I think she's into me. Oh, shucks. That, that, that's terrible. Yeah, but to be honest with you, I've kind of had my mind on someone else all night. Really? Yeah. He's a sexy P.I. who really knows how to wield my sword. And even though we're wearing the same shirt, I just want to rip his off and go to town. Uh, oh? Yeah. And all he has to do is say one word and I'll leave my date and he and I can go to a nice cozy motel and find a nice bed with a nice strong headboard. All he has to do is say one word. Banana. We'll see you around, Scotty. Banana! Big yellow banana. Uh, Raymond, where, where are you going? You can't just leave me. His name's Ramon, sweetheart. Oh, so this is a thing now. Rule number one of the bottom method. Never let your mark have the last laugh. <laughs>
Wow. You fuck like a rabbit. I know. I'm, I'm pretty good at it, aren't I? So, uh, Little Spoon time? <sighs> For sure. Okay. I'm always Little Spoon. What the fuck are you doing? Turn back around. What? No, no, I'm Little Spoon. Why the fuck are we changing it up? Well, I, No, I thought... Right? Wait. I've been Little Spoon every single time. What do you mean every single time? Like every time we've had sex, I've been Little Spoon. And every time I've well, yeah. had sex, period, okay. I've just been Little Spoon. Well, maybe we have to change it up once in a while. Like today, I gave you head, so maybe you I gave could... you head. What are we even talking about right now? But my head was better. But like, it wasn't. You used teeth. I used two hands. Okay, but it wasn't on purpose. Yeah, but you just means you're bad at it. Like you gotta get better. I don't know what you want to say. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't even. I don't even know who I'm talking to right now. 